TSMC intends to mass-produce 2 nanometers by 2025 and says it will maintain its technological lead. However, the news from ASML made Liu Deng not expect that the, the changes came so quickly. ASML announced that the next-generation high NAEUV lithography machine is the last generation of NA. Therefore, ASML's lithography machine technology is coming to an end, and it may be difficult for TSMC to maintain the iteration of the chip process, thus being chased or even surpassed by competitors. Has lithography technology really come to an end? How to deal with the increasing competition variables of TSMC? ASML announces that lithography machine technology has reached the end. Advanced lithography machine technology supports TSMC to achieve 5 nanometers and 4 nanometers high-end process chip breakthroughs and creates chips with trillions of calculations per second for Apple, Nvidia, AMD and other American giants. Samsung is the only chip manufacturer that can keep up with TSMC's process rhythm, but Samsung's process yield rate has not met customer requirements, leading to Qualcomm and Nvidia successively handing over chip orders to TSMC, which can be seen from TSMC's chip manufacturing technology. Powerful. However, these leading technologies are largely endowed by lithography machines. If there is no lithography machine, even if TSMC masters the advanced process, it will not be able to manufacture chips. It's like the chef has left the kitchen utensils and the cartographer has left the tools such as CAD. With the iteration of lithography process technology, TSMC can successfully create generation after generation of chips. ASML's current most advanced EUV lithography machine uses a 0.33 numerical aperture system. However, an EUV lithography machine with a numerical aperture of 0.33 can produce chips with a 3 nanometers process at most. If you want to create a more advanced 2 nanometers chip, you can only upgrade the numerical aperture to 0.55. Based on this numerical aperture, ASML can create the next generation high NAEUV lithography machine, thereby changing the game rules of the chip manufacturing industry. TSMC said that it will obtain a high NAEUV lithography machine in 2024 and build a 2 nanometers chip in 2025 ensuring that 2 nanometers will be the world leader. But is this really the case? TSMC may be able to successfully purchase high NAEUV lithography machines in 2024, but there is still a question mark on whether the 2 nanometers chip can be guaranteed to be ahead. Because ASML suddenly announced that the high NAEUV lithography opportunity is the last generation of NA. That is to say, after the high NAEUV lithography machine, there will be no more advanced lithography machine processes in the future. Is lithography technology really coming to an end? If you look at the traditional development path, it may be as ASML said. However, in theory, both X-ray lithography and electron beam lithography can achieve higher precision and resolution than EUV lithography. However, in terms of large-scale mass production of chips, it does not yet have the advantages of the industrial chain. So if ASML cannot break through more advanced technology, than high NAEUV lithography machine, I am afraid this is the last generation process. 
Liu Deng of TSMC also did not expect that the changes came so quickly. Once the lithography machine technology cannot continue to break through, it will be difficult for TSMC to improve its chip process technology. How can TSMC ensure its leadership? Therefore, before TSMC mass produces 2 nanometers in 2025, it is easy to overturn a confident statement. It doesn't even need to go to 2 nanometers. TSMC is already behind Samsung at 3 nanometers. Anyone who knows it knows that Samsung announced the completion of 3 nanometers mass production at the end of June, and since then Samsung has completed the delivery of the first batch of 3 nanometers chip orders. More than that, Samsung 3 nanometers adopts GAA architecture, which has better performance in performance improvement and power reduction which is not inferior to TSMC's 3 nanometers theoretical performance. How to deal with the increasing competition variables of TSMC? What TSMC didn't want to see happened, and competitors were catching up. Although TSMC has maintained a leading position in chip manufacturing technology for decades, with the arrival of the limit of Moore's law and the imminent end of ASML lithography machine technology, it is estimated that TSMC cannot guarantee that it can always maintain the first position. Once competitors have obtained more advanced technology than TSMC, and the yield and production capacity have reached a comparable level, TSMC's customers will have the idea of reducing TSMC's order dependence. TSMC's competitive variables are increasing. On the one hand, Samsung is pressing step by step, taking the lead in mastering 3 nanometers mass production and has more time to improve the process yield. On the other hand, Intel will become the first customer of the high NAEUV lithography machine and has formulated a long-term process plan with the support of the United States behind it. There are many manufacturers staring at TSMC's number one throne. In the past, TSMC broke through generation after generation of process technology with EUV lithography machines. In the future, TSMC's breakthrough speed will slow down. Among the many competitive variables, how should TSMC respond? In fact, TSMC is also reducing its reliance on traditional chip manufacturing processes and betting on the advanced packaging industry. When the chip performance reaches a certain limit, the layout and control of the integrated circuit in the device can be changed through a special packaging process, and even chip technology can be used to package and stack multiple small chips, bringing continuous breakthroughs in performance. TSMC is currently vigorously laying out 3D packaging and has also created M1 Ultra for Apple through advanced packaging technology. This chip is built using TSMC's advanced packaging technology. It combines two M1 Max stacks to achieve stronger performance. The number of transistors is as high as 114 billion. Therefore, when TSMC cannot go further in the traditional process, there is a high probability that it will take the advanced packaging path to extend its competitive advantage. As for achieving such an effect, it remains to be seen. What do you think about this? Feel free to share in the comments below.